Tennessee Valley is no stranger to the feelings Meigs County is experiencing tonight, and it's renewing a conversation about the safety of buses. Michelle Heron shows us why. I just feel so sorry for them, and it's, that's all I you know, can say. As news of Tuesday's crash involving a Meigs County school bus rippled throughout the Tennessee Valley, so did the grief and sadness over the lives lost and community forever changed. I hope that the people in Meigs County understand that when it comes to something like this, a grieving process, there are no county boundaries. It's a type of grief familiar to Hamilton County after six children were killed and dozens hurt in the Woodmore bus crash nearly four years ago. Joanne Favors represented the 28th district at the time. She worked for years in the state legislature to require seat belts on school buses. I continued to amend it to collaborate with those who had concerns and express their concerns, uh, but it was obvious at the very end that it wasn't going to pass. Despite her efforts and the support, the measure failed to get the votes needed to pass. Chattanooga attorney C. Mark Warren supported favors through the process. What did we take away from Woodmore? You know, when we buried those children, are we going to continue to be burying children because we don't put seatbelts in buses? It's the job of investigators to determine if Meigs County Bus 12-1 had seatbelts, and if so, were they being used properly? While the community waits to learn more if anything could have prevented this tragedy, Favor says she's ready to offer her support if the conversation over seatbelts on buses comes up again. These are children, and they can't make decisions for themselves. We have a responsibility and an obligation to take care of our children. Now, today was a remote learning day, so tomorrow will be the first day students will return to school. There will be a counselor on the bus route, as well as grief counselors at that school.